Hey guys, how's it going? So today, I'm bringing you some Orcs Must Die 2 gameplay. This demo just recently came out on Steam, uh, two days early of the actual release. So I thought this would be fun to play. I haven't actually played the first one, but it looked like a lot of fun, and I decided I'd try with the second one. So I'm just going to go over some of the options. There's just your standard uh, help with the controls, uh, gameplay options, um, sound, video, there's actually, you know, just the resolution window, you can pick the graphics detail, anti-aliasing, and v-sync. So it's not very complicated, but it gives you enough to uh, kind of mess around with depending on your rig. There's also key bindings and credits, that's basically all there is. I'm trying to gonna try not to spend too much time on the menus, I know it's not that exciting. So then uh, you can go to characters and uh, create a new character. So instead of Orcs Must Die, the original one, there's just the War Mage. But now uh, there's co-op and there's also another character, the Sorceress. So she's just mainly uh, spells and ranged damage. So I'm just going to go with this class and Kamikaze, sure. I already actually made a character with this name, so it's not going to let me do that again. I'll just do Kamikaze 2. There you go and play. Now you can select the difficulty, War Mage, Apprentice, or Nightmare. I'm just going to go with War Mage. I'm not too good. Uh, story mode is the game mode because it's only a demo. You can only have that. There's leaderboards, which is only for the full version. There's also create a party. So if you wanted to, you could invite friends who are already playing uh, and do some co-op. That would be really fun once the uh, full game actually comes out and you get some people playing and then your spell book here. Uh, this is you can use to buy uh, use the skulls to buy certain things like new traps uh, new weapons you can buy trinkets which will give you some um, active effects or passive effects and then you can also buy vanity items you earn the skulls by killing the orcs in game so it's uh, kind of an, it's the unlock system of this game which is pretty cool so I'm just going to go ahead and start with the story mode. It will kind of give you a quick tutorial. It doesn't drag on too long, which is nice. It pretty much just puts you right into the game. And it starts off with a bit of a cutscene, I believe. So you get a bit of a story. Was this how it would end? Trapped. Surrounded. My power lost. I deserve Fortunately, so this doesn't last more. too long, though. It's just a bit of an intro. Were coming. Once I was their queen, now they would be my doom. Then, out of nowhere, new rift? It was different, fragile. I felt a trickle of power returning, barely there. Not enough to mind control even a single orc. Still, the rift offered an escape. As soon as I stepped through, I saw... Alright, so this is where you meet up him. with the other character. Standing right in front of me with that ridiculous grin plastered across his face. I only had one thing to say. Run! Alright. That's good. And then automatically just puts you right into the game, which is cool. Alright, now this is just the very intro to it. I played through this, so I uh, know what I'm doing somewhat. And, uh... So you hit B and choose your defenses. This is your main weapon, so you can drag that to the hot bar. This is the ice vent, which freezes enemies once they step on it. It doesn't have a very large area of effect, so you have to be pretty precise with it. And then this is the acid sprayer, which is a wall trap. And it sprays uh, enemies with acid as they uh, step by it. It has a large area of effect on the wall. All right, so I'm just gonna put down some of these ice traps. You start off with a pretty limited amount of money at the beginning, but you gradually get more. Alright, now I'm going to put down acid trap over there so it kind of, uh, it kind of, voice crack, it kind of uh, uses acid on them while they're immobile from the ice because it freezes them as a solid block. Alright, now I'm going to put some more down. And as you can see, there's carts on the map, and that can actually run into the orcs and slow them down, and it can also run into you too. Uh, actually, I think I just go right through that. But anyway, just gonna lay a couple traps down here and now I'm out of money so you hit G to unleash the horde or if you wanted to I could sell some of these items and that's actually a pretty nice buyback because it's the same price that you uh, put it down for you can sell it all right so I'm gonna start up the horde 
and now they're coming. So on this wand I have, I have the main uh, attack which I can just spam, there's really no cooldown on it. But then there's also another attack, as you can see here, oh that didn't work because it's frozen. But it turns them on your side and they'll end up fighting the um, their friends or your enemies. And then they explode which kind of is a nice splash damage. And as you can see the traps are working fairly well, not too well, but right now it doesn't really matter too much about the traps because I can usually just spam them and uh, kill them with my wand. And now they drop certain things, I believe that's a drop. Yes, I have a health potion but I can't pick that up yet. And then there's a wave countdown, that was the first wave and now there's another one. The enemies right now, I believe it shows you like before I actually started the wave, I didn't get a good look at it though. There's just the light orcs and then the medium orcs. These are the light orcs right now, so they're fairly easy to kill and really uh, not any threat at all. And I can uh, put traps down in game too, which is a nice way to keep it rolling. You don't have to wait until the end of the round to put traps down. So I'm just going to do that some more because they seem to be getting through. And as I kill, I obviously get more points be used as traps. Uh, right now I'm only getting 10 points to kill I think because they're fairly basic. Right there is another as the medium orc which is nice if you use your uh, secondary spell on them because it really uh, they have a more powerful attack so they can do more damage against uh, your enemies. So this is the next wave and I believe it separates into waves and then rounds and as you'll be able to see later the round is where you can um, buy new, you can use your skulls and buy new weapons and buy new uh, vanity items and things like that. So I'm just going to put down a few more traps. But I, I really like this class because it's pretty versatile and uh, I really like the, w the ranged, I keep trying to say ranged, the ranged weapon. It's fun to use and it's pretty basic too. The enemies also have a health bar as you hit them, well, with most with most tower defense that's the case, but uh, with this it's nice because it's not too in the way, it's uh, at the top of the screen rather than right over the enemy, so it allows you to see things a bit better. And you can get combos as well, right there I just got a combo and got a bonus for uh, getting that combo because I... Uh, use the secondary spell on the orc and then also killed some enemies. Alright, so that was the end of one of the waves and this is a place where I can uh, this is kind of a rest period for me to be able to put down some more traps and things. So I'm going to do that. And I actually have a sprint. I just now realized that. Uh, left shift like normal, which is nice to have. Alright, I think that's pretty good. and unleash the horde. There we go. Now, uh, as the waves go on, there's more and more of the medium orcs rather than the uh, light orcs. And some of these also I don't know if you can tell, but some of them have uh, skulls on, which are, I think, the tougher of the medium orcs. I get 15 points for killing the medium orcs, uh, rather than just 10 for the light orcs. So uh, as I go up, I think it might be 5 per new rank, uh, new rank of orcs that you kill. And I really like the animations, especially for the acid trap. Uh, once you can actually kill them with the acid trap, their body evaporates into a, a skeleton, which is pretty cool right there. Uh, it makes it a lot more interesting rather than just the standard death animation. The hearts also, whenever you uh, use a secondary spell, are pretty funny too. Uh, it makes it, like I said, a lot more interesting of a game. And there we go, I beat that round and do a little dance at the end. Uh, now this is uh, the edge, as it's called. 
and so I got a victory there. I got a new uh, trap, the floor trap, and it does damage when stepped on and resets after firing. I got eight new skulls down there in the uh, bottom right, and bonus skulls I got plus three, I guess, because I, I don't know, didn't die or did it in a better amount of time or something like that. Now I can use the spell book and I can buy certain things. This is what I already have. This is my inventory, so to speak. But I can also buy uh, more traps other than the one I was awarded. So these are the ones I have. I can also buy the Haymaker, which spins and knocks around enemies, resets after firing. Uh, I can also buy, uh, I don't have quite enough money, but the next thing I would be able to buy is the Bone Amulet, uh, which when I was playing earlier is a like two-handed um, and, and it replaces your other staff it, and it kind of leaves a it's an area of effect spell on the ground it has a bigger effect than the staff and I can also buy new trinkets or like I said the passive or active abilities and vanity items so I'm just gonna end it here on this round if you'd like to see more of this game or if you like this game please leave a like and a comment and maybe even subscribe for more so thanks for watching